Welcome back to MS Tech. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of Logitech's simpler gaming mice. Today we got the Logitech G403. Now the reason this one's simpler is because it only has six buttons, but don't let that fool you, it does have a few features up its sleeve. Let's take a look and see what they are. Starting off with what you get inside the box. You get the mouse itself, a 10 gram extra weight, a pretty big Logitech sticker, and a Logitech manual. Pretty simple. Now starting off with the design of the G403. It's a really simple build and the best way to describe what it looks like, it would probably be either a beluga or a pillow for the reason that there's no streamlined shape. It just goes up and comes down just like a beluga or a pillow. And it's not really an intimidating mouse. I would genuinely say it's a pretty cute and chubby mouse. You do have a very nice braided cable, which is pretty light compared to other braided cables. So when you're moving around playing games, it shouldn't be an issue dragging. If we go down over to the mice, that's where we will find the body itself. It's completely made out of plastic, but two different plastic materials. On the sides, you do have a much smoother and softer plastic compared to the top where it's more of a hard shell plastic. The sides are a really nice touch and it's kind of grippy in the sense that even though it is all plastic, it's grippy and soft, which I like to see myself. Now, if we flip the mouse over, that's where you find the hero sensor that's 16,000 DPI. As well on the bottom, you do find a little slot where you can put the weight in and take it out. Now, the way you open this little slot is pretty cool in my opinion compared to other ones. Usually we're all used to the little twist, pop out, put back, twist again. But with this one, you just press down a little bit and then with magnets, it comes off. You stick the weight right in there and you pop it right back. I feel like the magnetic touch is a really nice touch compared to the other twist and pops and put back in. It's just too complicated. Now, the one other thing that I will say about this 10 gram weight that's included in this box is that it smells horrible. I have no idea why every Logitech mouse that I've ever tried that has weights, even the G502 weights, they smell absolutely horrible. And as soon as I touch it, I just wanna go wash my hands, which I guess nowadays in this day and age is pretty good to always wanna wash your hands, but it just smells horrible. And Logitech, if you're watching this, maybe coat the metal with a bit of plastic so that it doesn't smell as bad, but that's just one of the personal things that I've realized with Logitech weights. Now this mouse does have six buttons in total. You've got your forward and back button, as well as the left click, right click, scroll wheel, inside click, and the DPI adjustments, which are pretty basic. You can program the buttons to whatever setting you like using the G-Hub software, but that's up to your own preference. Now, when it came to the clicks of the mouse, that's where for me personally, it did feel a bit on the cheaper side of things. I would have liked to have a bit more of a premium click, but here's a quick sound test of what the clicks sound like. Now, when it comes to RGBs, you do have complete control of changing the RGBs. You do have a little RGB strip in the scroll wheel, as well as the G on the back is completely lit to your own preference. And again, you can customize that completely using the G-Hub software. Now, my experiences using this mouse have been pretty good. I really like the shape of the mouse. And the one thing that I will say is the back height wise is a lot higher than your basic mouse. Usually you're used to them swooping downwards, but with this one towards the back, it pushes upwards, so it's a bit higher. And that's why when you palm the mouse casually and just put your hand on it, it feels really nice compared to other mice. When it came to my gaming experience using this mouse, I didn't really have any issues. The fact that I was able to move around from right to left, look around pretty freely, it was no issues. And I was really surprised at the fact that even though it was a braided cable, it did not have much drag and it didn't really affect my gaming. But then again, I'm not a pro gamer, I'm just a casual gamer every now and then I'll play video games. But for me, the experience was pretty darn good. Now, overall for $50, you're getting a pretty solid mouse. This doesn't have many fancy tricks here and there, but it does have the basics and it works wonders. The build quality, the plastic overall isn't bad. I really like the soft touches and it's really comfortable in your palm. I can definitely see someone using this mouse who casually games every now and then, but mainly sits at their office and works. This can definitely become a working office mouse as well as a gaming mouse. So in my opinion, since it's the best of both worlds, it's a pretty solid mouse. With that being said, if you stuck around till the end of the video, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. It genuinely means the world to us and it helps the channel grow day by day. This has been MS Tech and as always, stay classy.